So in the last video, we worked on our photograph and edited um, a few different versions of the same photograph and saved it as uh, different JPEGs. In this video, we are ready to bring that into Illustrator and work on it to create it into a poster like this. However, before we begin, I like to create a swatch because I need to have a swatch that allows us to make these lines when we, um, f when we fill it in. Uh, into one of our shapes. Okay, so let's begin by going to File New and go to Pixels and go to Pixels by two pixels. I know that's very small. Okay, and then go Create. <clears throat> then I like you to go to your rectangle tool and click on your page, and you need to create a rectangle that's two pixels by one pixels and go OK. Oh, you can see that. Well, for some reason, all black here is because I have a stroke. I'm going to take away that stroke and oops, there we go. use my selection tool so I can move it. Okay, then I'm going to click and hold alt so I can drag out another rectangle there. So now I have two rectangles, one here and one there. So the top one needs to be the blue color. So I'm going to go over to this um, poster here and use my eyedropper tool and select that blue. I double click on it and copy this hexadecimal color, control C, and then I go to my swatch here and double click on this box. Color picker shows up and I paste it into here and there I have my blue. Next I'm going to do the same with the yellow. Okay, So copy that and then select the next one at the bottom, double click and paste. There we go. And now I'm going to select both by clicking and dragging my selection tool over it and then clicking on the swatches and dragging it into here. Next I click on that swatch now. So if you don't see swatches, make sure you go to window and then open up swatches. Okay, so after that you would then select both the rectangles, click you know, click and drag it into here. Click on that swatch that you just created. Click on here, this menu, and go save swatch library as AI. Okay, and then I'll name this as uh, blue yellow. And I'm gonna go into where I was saving everything in my assignment seven, and save that as blue yellow. All right. Next, I'm going to create a new document, go File, New, and create a letter size. So letter size, portrait, okay, create that, and then save it, um, and then save that as poster, or whatever you like to call it, as an AI file, so I can call it yin poster, okay, and I'll save it in my assignment 7. Okay, so what I need to now do is um, I need to load my swatches, okay? So open swatch library. So go to your swatches again, go to this menu here, open swatch library, other library, and then I'm going to go to my documents, or sorry, desktop, because that's where I had everything saved. Assignment 7, and then blue yellow. Open that. There we go. So here are my swatches. And there is my swatch. Okay, can you see that? There we go. That's the one. So we'll need that in just a little while, but before we do, I am going to place one of my images that I had created in Photoshop. So go to File, Place, and the one that I'm going to place is this one here, the one with the most detail, the highest threshold. I'm going to click and drag. Out to here, and then move it down a little bit so it's at the very bottom, and we're good. And then click on it again, and go up here to Image Trace where the drop down is. Pick silhouettes. Okay, and then expand it. 
There we go. And now you can see in your layers. So go to Window Layers. Okay, so this is now a group of shapes that create this kind of silhouette of me. All right, and I want I want to fill that with. Um, I would like to fill that with that new swatch that I colored that I just created. This one. So if I click on it, you can see that this group is in black. So if I click on it, there we go. I go to the swatch, and now you can see that swatch has been applied. Okay. All right, so next I would um, go to File and then Place again, another one, the one with a little bit less detail, but the next one down and then place that again, bring it down, All right? And then Image Trace Silhouettes, okay? And then I would go expand and this one can be another color and perhaps the color I pick is this blue okay so I'm gonna use my eyedropper click on that blue find out the color copy and go to in poster and make it that blue oh, that's not the right blue for some reason that's a gray I'm just going to click away from everything, click to a different blue, and then try again. I've noticed that glitch in Illustrator a little while back, so, okay. And just checking my time. Now we can do it again, place again, copy three, click and drag, okay, and of course bring this down. And image trace to silhouettes and then expand and the color this time can be this red color okay double click on that copy and let's just pick a different red first okay double click in there and paste the correct red That's the correct red. Just testing to see if we got the correct red. There we go. And let's see. And then the final one would be this color, All right? Double click. Copy that. Okay. And file place. Very last one. that down here image trace silhouettes expand and place that color Let's try again and there you go so in the next video we will clean up um, the rest of this maybe add some background color and a border but for now um, this is what we have here so yours will look different with your face your portrait on it all right